We're back into Cinema 4D to show you some basics about materials and shaders. Now we're looking at our turret model again which we will use later in our game and I've already explained that when you unwrap the 3D information you get a texture map that you can draw on to basically color the turret. Now let me show you exactly what this color map looks like. Here's our turret when it's completely unwrapped. As you can see, here's the front light and there's a back fan and there's the panels that are over the top. So everything is here nicely fit into one image, a perfect unwrapped model. Now, when I add this model in Unity 3D, it will look great already, but now that graphics are so advanced, we need some more than just a perfect model. When I started with game design over 15 years ago, the only thing you could do in game engines is basically take one of these images and slap it on your 3D model, and that is as good as it gets. Now, if this image was the only thing applied to the model, it looks exactly like this. However, nowadays, there's multiple things that you can do, and for example, these are called bump maps and normal maps and specklers. These are the most used names for other maps other than color maps. For example, let me show you the normal map. When I get real close to the image, right now there's no normal map applied. And as you can see, for example, by the metal here, there's no bumpiness going on or it's basically just flat. As soon as I turn my normal map on, you can see that now there's all kinds of bumpiness going on in the model it gives it a lot more detail and it looks a lot more realistic. Now if you add this in more extreme situations for example when you're creating bamboo then the light will also bounce off of the bamboo texture just like it was real bamboo even though it's just a flat image. Now a normal map looks exactly like this. It is a blue colored map that the engine can read and as you can see it is the same unwrapping but now all of a sudden there's little bumps in the way. Now this is called a normal map and it basically defines how light is being reflected from our model. Now when I take a color map and a normal map and a specular map or whatever other map you want to have assigned to your model and group them all together in Unity 3D that is called a shader. Now a shader is a lot more than just a texture. A texture is only this thing right here. This is a texture. But nowadays we tend to call these color maps because we also want to apply normal maps, bump maps and other maps. Now one thing to note is that in every 3D application shaders function differently. There's no standardization, at least not that I know of. Now, don't expect that when you make a model in a 3D application, when you save it, it opens up the same way in Unity. In fact, for every 3D modeling application, you need to do a couple of handlings to make sure that it works great in Unity 3D. So, for example, take our crate right now. Our crate is pretty boring in our game because it's just a gray cube. So in the next video, let me show you how to add a color map and a normal map to create bumpiness in the editor in the form of a material or shader if you will. So let's move on and create some art for our game.